Well, my friends, we are continuing in Job, and we're at a, a chapter here. It's one of my favorites. It's, it seems almost out of place. It, all of a sudden, Job starts reflecting on the way that man searches out for wisdom and where do you find wisdom and and how God is connected to wisdom. So it's it's just like a little break here for a man that is a wise man who needs wisdom in the midst of his trials. He reflects in this wonderful way. So he says, surely there is a mine for silver, a place for gold that they refine and iron is taken out of the earth and copper. A man puts an end to darkness and searches out to the farthest limit. He goes to the to the limits of darkness even. Uh, the ore in gloom and deep darkness, he's finding that or he searches it out. And he says other people, well, they just, they're happy to just sort of farm on the surface. They, they get their bread from that, but underneath it as turned up uh, uh, it's, it's turned up as if by fire um, that there are these precious stones and sapphires and dust of gold and, and the farmer might not see that. Um, of course, the birds, they, they don't know anything about it. And the beasts, the other beasts that are on the surface of the earth, they, they don't know where all these precious stones and metals are. And the lion the lion has not passed over it. No, it's left to man and to a, a group of men that are interested in mining to actually find these precious rocks. So they put their hands to the flinty rock. They overturn mountains by the roots and they go through the channels that they find in the rocks and, and they see precious things and they dam up streams to try and see, well, what's underneath all that trickling water? And, they find something that's brought to light. But what about wisdom? All this talk about mining, yeah? What about wisdom? Where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? You know, you think about silver and gold and, and glass, precious glass and jewels and coral and crystal, but the price of wisdom is far above pearls. And, but where then does, does this wisdom come from? And where is the place of understanding that's it's concealed from the birds of the air? And, you know, it's not in the land of the dead. It's Abaddon and death said, well, we've heard a rumor of it with our ears. But now here's the answer. God understands the way to it. He knows its place. He looks to the ends of the earth and he sees everything under the heavens and uh, he is the one who is the wise God of creation and providence. He gave to the wind its weight and apportioned the waters by measure when he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder. Then, then he saw it. He saw it. He saw what? What other people could not see maybe what other people were not searching for. He saw wisdom and he declared it. He established it and searched it out. And he said to man, behold, here it is, the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom, that this reverent awe and holy esteem, this worship of God who is creator and redeemer. And to turn away from evil is understanding. Why? Because you want to turn toward God and turn away from everything that would be against God. So this, in this marvelous break here in Job, we think about wisdom and we think about mankind created in the image of God and that people are able to search out wisdom. But how many do? Very few really do. And then we think about God as the source of wisdom. But here's what's amazing. What, what happened in the fullness of time is God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. And he was the word of God incarnate. He was wisdom from on high. 
He was truth unchanged, unchanging. He, he was worth more than gold, the finest gold, all the riches, all the precious stones that the earth could offer. Jesus is worth far more than that, and he is the very word of God and the source of all that is true and right. Thank you, Father, that we have wisdom in Christ. Christ has become the wisdom of God for us, and we have salvation through him. We look for that great world of perfect wisdom beyond our sight now, but surely you have made a place for us there. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings, friends.